Western Court. Management gave the pet owners months to either get rid of their animals or move off the property. Now those pit bull owners who did not comply with management are gearing up to plead their case in court. Nicole Bell is in Dinwiddie with more on the latest developments. The sheriff's office went door to door handing out summonses to pit bull owners here at Green Acres. Those served say they want their day in court. With summons in hand, Ariel Lilly says she's ready to battle for her pit bull. I didn't want it to get ugly, but it had to get ugly, so we just had to carry it to court. Lily, along with several of her neighbors in the Green Acres trailer park, are at odds with management. It should be some kind of a grandfather clause or something that we should all fall under. For more than a decade, those living here have been allowed to have pit bulls on the property, but the new property owners decided to enforce a pit bull ban policy. Management offered one comment about this latest development. And we filed the paperwork and it's in the judge's and the property owners gave residents an ultimatum in February. Tenants had until June 29th to comply. In the past, management has said it's enforcing rules and regulations for the safety of residents and for liability purposes. Now that the case is heading to court, Martin Wegbright with the Legal Aid Society says the pet owners should be well prepared. The bottom line on a case like this is for the judge to decide, is it fair for these tenants to suddenly have to get rid of their animals when they've had the animals for years and years? If the judge disagrees with you, what do you do? I reckon I'm going to have to go. That's the only other option, but I'm not going to I'm not going to go without being heard. The pit bull owners say they have two attorneys working pro bono on their behalf to help them through the court process. In Dinwiddie County, Nicole Bell, NBC 12. The dog owners are scheduled to appear in court July 6th.